Dvorkovich separately discussed working together in the future by forming an academic partnership. Four and a half lines redacted. Seven, contacts with and through Michael T. Flynn. Incoming National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was the transition team's primary conduit for communications with the Russian ambassador and dealt with Russia on two sensitive matters during the transition period, a United Nations Security Council vote and the Russian government's reaction to the United States imposition of sanctions for Russian interference in the 2016 election. Despite Kushner's conclusion that Kislyak did not wield influence inside the Russian government, the transition team, team turned to Flynn's relationship with Kislyak on both issues. As to the sanctions, Flynn spoke by phone to KT McFarlane, his incoming deputy, to prepare for his call to Kislyak. McFarlane was with the president-elect and other senior members of the transition team at Mar-a-Lago at the time. Although transition officials at Mar-a-Lago had some concern about possible Rus Russian reactions to the sanctions, the investigation did not identify any evidence that the president-elect asked Flynn to make any request to Kislyak. Flynn asked Kislyak not to escalate the situation in response to U.S. sanctions imposed on December 29, 2016, and Kislyak later reported to Flynn that Russia acceded to that request. A. United Nations Vote on Israel Statements Israeli Statements On December 21, 2016, Egypt submitted a resolution to the United Nations Security Council calling on Israel to cease settlement activities in Palestinian territory. The Security Council, which includes Russia, was scheduled to vote on the resolution the following day. There was speculation in the media that the Obama administration would not oppose the resolution. According to Flynn, the transition team regarded the vote as a significant issue and wanted to support Israel by opposing the resolution. On December 22, 2016, multiple members of the transition team, as well as President-elect Trump, communicated with foreign government officials to determine their views on the resolution and to rally support to delay the vote or defeat the resolution. Kushner led the effort for the transition team. Flynn was responsible for the Russian government. Minutes after an early morning phone call with Kushner on December 22nd, Flynn called Kislyak. According to Flynn, he informed Kislyak about the vote and the transition team's opposed opposition to the resolution and requested that Russia vote against or delay the resolution. Later that day, President-elect Trump spoke with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi about the vote. Ultimately, Egypt postponed the vote. On December 23, 2016, Malaysia, New Zealand, Senegal, and Venezuela resubmitted the resolution. Throughout the day, members of the transition team continued to talk with foreign leaders about the resolution, with Flynn continuing to lead the outreach with the Russian government through Kislyak. When Flynn again spoke with Kislyak, Kislyak informed Flynn that if the resolution came to a vote, Russia would not vote against it. The resolution later passed 14 to 0, with the United States abstaining. B. U.S. sanctions against Russia. Flynn also, Flynn was also the transition team member who spoke with the Russian government when the Obama administration imposed its sanctions and other measures against Russia in response to Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election. On December 28, 2016, then President Obama signed Executive Order 13757, which took effect at 12.01 a.m. the following day and 